Last month, OpenAI introduced the second-generation version of Dall e an AI model trained on 650 million images and text captions. It can take in text and spit out images, whether that's a dystopian great wave off Kanagawa as Godzilla eating Tokyo or teddy bears working on new AI research on the moon in the 1980s. It can create variations based on the style of a particular artist, like Salvador Dali, or popular software like Unreal Engine. Photorealistic depictions that look like the real world, shared widely on social media by a select number of early testers, have given the impression that the model can create images of almost anything. What people thought might take 5 to 10 years, we're already in it. We are in the future, says Vipul Gupta, a PhD candidate at Penn State who has used Dual E2. From conversations with roughly half of the 23-member red team, we found that a number of them recommended OpenAI release Dual E2 without the ability to generate faces at all. One red team member said that 8 out of 8 attempts to generate images with words like a man sitting in a prison cell or a photo of an angry man returned images of men of color. There were a lot of non-white people whenever there was a negative adjective associated with the person, says Martin Sapp, an external red team member who researches stereotypes and reasoning in AI models. Enough risks were found that maybe it shouldn't generate people or anything photorealistic. Another red team member said that while they found the open AI ethics team to be responsive to concerns, they were against releasing Dual E2 with the ability to generate faces. They questioned the rush to release technology that can automate discrimination. Dual E2 was trained using a combination of photos scraped from the internet and acquired from licensed sources, according to the document authored by OpenAI ethics and policy researchers. OpenAI did make efforts to mitigate toxicity or the spread of disinformation, applying text filters to the image generator and removing some images that were sexually explicit or gory. Only non-commercial use is allowed today, and early users are required to label images with a signature bar of color in the bottom right corner generated by Dual E2. OpenAI knows better than anyone the harm that can come from deploying AI built with massive, poorly curated data sets, 